Good evening. I'm Blake Walker. And I'm Kipley Brown. Here's our top story. The Catholic Church may get its first black pope if one of two African cardinals is chosen to succeed Pope Pendant Benedict. The selection would likely start a trend because once you go black pope, you never go back. Pope. <laughs> On Friday, an estimated 1,200 people were injured when a meteor struck central Russia, commented Yakov Smirnov. In America, country invades Iraq. In Russia, <laughs> giant fucking meteors crash into your car. Ah, run, run, but first post video on YouTube. Ah! New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg says arrests for small quantities of marijuana will no longer mean a night in jail. The only exception is if the pot is being smoked out of a bong that's bigger than 32 ounces. <laughs> South Africa's Oscar Pistorius, the first double amputee to run in the Olympics, has been charged with the murder of his girlfriend, commented Pistorius. My case isn't looking good. My attorney told me that if I have my alibi, I better just bounce off. Bounce off! <laughs> you know, legal counsel can cost an arm. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> A new poll reveals that Mississippi is the most religious state. It's especially impressive when you consider that living in Mississippi is proof that there is no God. <laughs> A judge in Egypt has ordered that YouTube be blocked in the country for 30 days, which means we'll have to wait a month to find out how Egyptians feel about that Women of LA video. <laughs> the unofficial spokesman for the heart attack grill in Las Vegas died this week after a heart attack. Meanwhile, recovering well from his heart attack is the unofficial spokesman for the CPR grill. <laughs> and now, where hard news meets Hollywood, here with the entertainment news is the biggest fan of the Grammy-winning group fun, Sparkles McGee! <laughs> Talented. Here we go with the jokes. <laughs> Kate Gosselin will appear on the next season of ABC Celebrity Wife Swap. Kate says she's looking forward to the swap because she's always wanted to see what it's like to neglect someone else's kids. <laughs> yeah! Uh, I love my kids. My wife and I had them. <laughs> An MTV documentary about Kesha will reportedly include a clip of her drinking her own pee. Oh. <laughs> Kesha said drinking her pee was pretty gross because it didn't have enough vodka in it. <laughs> you know, that guy knows what I'm talking about. We are drunk. Okay. Fleetwood Mac, you guys know them, says their upcoming tour will feature some new songs. Those new songs will be called Bathroom Break 1 and Bathroom Break 2. Yeah! No new songs. Just play the hits. And finally, Hugh Jackman told The Hollywood Reporter that it bugs his wife when she hears rumors that he's gay. <laughs> Although she'd believe him more if he stopped explaining himself through elaborate musical numbers. Huh? Who can blame him? Who can blame him? Thank you! The new Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue includes a style section for female readers. According to the magazine, the style that's really in this year is giant boobs. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Robbie Rogers, a former member of the U.S. national soccer team, revealed Friday that he is gay, responded a high school football player. Dude, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that some soccer players aren't gay? <laughs> Fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck you! 2013, baby! Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna go get my dick washed. <laughs> I 
I need to do that. Yes, you do. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Police in Georgia were led on a high-speed chase when a man stole a Krispy Kreme truck from a convenience store. The cops eventually caught the man and then consumed all the evidence. <laughs> Apple is reportedly developing a smartwatch. The watch will help you check the time by telling you to look at your iPhone. <laughs> Warren Buffett is part of a group of investors that is purchasing Heinz for $23.2 billion, commented a rival investor. Yeah, our group tried to place an offer to match them to buy Heinz, but we just couldn't catch up. <laughs> Wait, you're booing me? That's what really happened. We couldn't catch up. <laughs> okay, fine, I get it. Sounds like a Heinz condiment, but we really were in a pickle. <laughs> hey, look, I don't relish this. You know what? Fuck all y'all. And fuck both of you. I don't know why, but fuck you. I'm out! 2013! Oh, fuck you two. Indeed. Officials say two people snuck into the Super Bowl without tickets while everyone was distracted by Beyonce's halftime performance. Those people were the other two members of Destiny's Child. <laughs> It only gets worse. <laughs> this past Thursday was Valentine's Day, or as single people call it, the day before 50% off chocolates day. 